look like that. Nice take away, nice half swing, nicely extended. And then from here, slight push, impact position, release, nice follow through. Michelle again. Welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today we'll be talking about the full swing. So the last time we actually talked about half swing and now we're going to extend it to the full swing. All right. So first of all, once again, make sure you have very good GASP, which is grip, alignment, stance and posture. And we're going to start off from the half swing. So we will get to proper half swing I mentioned before. Just make sure the hip and chest is starting to turn. Stay, keep the arms connected to the body get into the small swing position, slight hinge in the wrist and a slight body turn. Okay, so from here, people tend to know that we need to get the club somewhat parallel, parallel to the ground, pointing at the target line. So some people will get from half swing and start bending their arms and try to get to this position. But actually, that will cause somewhat some outside in golf swings, outside in golf swing, or even casting, okay? So in order to get into a correct position on the backswing, we have to make sure we get to a proper half swing position and then from here we're going to just extend our body. That means we're going to turn our chest even though we can see a slight tilt on our head. All right. So turn our chest, turn our hip, extend the right foot a little bit more, knees is moving a little bit downwards, inwards, arm is somewhat out here, just a little bit behind the chest. So from down the line, it's going to look like your left arm is covering your right shoulder. So looking at talking about the club face, just make sure it's not, this is open, it's not shut. This is square club face. So if you look from down the line, we're going to get here, and then half swing, and then we're going to extend to a full swing. So it's, it really depends on your individual flexibility. So some people might only get some here when their body is really fully turned. Some people, even though some ladies or some uh, really flexible people, they might move a lot. But just make sure don't bend the arms, don't really, don't get the, don't kind of like collapse the wrist over here, then you'll be fine. So proper back swing position should look like this. Small swing position, half swing position, extend it a little bit longer. So make sure the left arm is covering your right shoulder over here, then this is a good backswing position. All right, when we get our backswing sorted out, which is this position, we're gonna talk a bit about our downswing, okay? So when we get our backswing to a good position, that means we have created a bigger arc, which can create more momentum and more speed. So which also means that some people will start using their arms from the top and just start hitting the ball. All right. Yes, you somewhat sometimes we'll get lucky. We make solid contact, or even though we play around with with the swing and still play really well. But I would like for you to have a swing that you can actually repeat and be more consistent, hitting it more solid as well. So we get to the top of our backswing, and then we're going to start our downswing with a slight push. But if you watch me when I do this push action, you can see that my hip is actually facing forward. My knees is getting back to where uh, where it was before, but it's going to be slightly moving towards the outside of my left heel. It's gonna feel somewhat like that, okay? So, back swing, back to this position, the upper body will start to follow, and we get to impact position. At impact position, my weight is supposed to be somewhat 80% on the left side already, hip is open up, chest is open up, handle is ahead of the ball. And then from here, we're just gonna release and follow through. So, because, our knees and our hip is moving first and then it follows through we have to make sure that the hip is always ahead of our chest it's never it's never forward like that if you find that your chest is ahead of our hip that means from the top you're already swinging with your arms right away instead of having this push action okay all right so the full swing should look like that nice takeaway nice half swing nicely extended and then from here, slight push, impact position, release, nice follow through.
right guys, we finally have gotten to our full swing. My advice to you is to practice smart. Don't go to the driving range and hit too many balls. Focus on good rhythm, good motion, good technique so that we can hit the ball on the sweet spot most of the time, hit it solid and more consistent and of course enjoy golf even more. But sometimes we might not hit it as solid as we want in the full swing. I'll recommend for you to go back to half swing or even sometimes small swing. So I'll catch you guys next time. If you do like my video, please give me a like, leave me a comment or even subscribe. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.